Kirk Dogwall here with Mastermind the Market, your real estate stats update for the Twin Cities area. Well, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, at least for buyers, what do I mean by that? Well, we'll get into that in just one second. But first, make sure you click on that subscribe button, like and share this video. We know that knowledge is power. The more knowledge that you have about our Twin Cities real estate market, the more that you can leverage that to your advantage. So again, click on that subscribe button. All right, let's dive into the data. Showings per week per listing, median sale price range. Well, this is what I'm talking about, about the snow. Showings per listing, average 250 to 500K Minneapolis, St. Paul area dropped off week over week, was at a 4.41 down to a 3.99. Big drop off in total showings as well, 28.39 for the areas used down to 20. 158 so not as competitive out there this last week looking at listings coming into the market now this is the week after thanksgiving jumping back up no big surprise there but still pretty low numbers was at a five or 503 up to 860 Pending sales also jumped up a bit, but not quite as much as they jumped up last year at the same time. So it was at an 849 up to a 907, but you see last year 1,036 for pending sales. All that said, still bringing inventory down another big drop, close to 500 total listings. And that's kind of been the way we've been trending. So 6,782 down to 6,002. 97 so that's gonna make for a pretty competitive spring market and what do I mean by spring well yeah it's right after the holiday season that starts picking up our peak market as mentioned in past videos really was in mid March and that's due to the low inventory supply and demand Interest rates are staying pretty flat. Just a teeny, teeny drop off was at a 3.11 down to a 3.10. So recommendation right now as rates are expected to pick up into next year that if you have a property under contract, this would be a good time to lock that from our resident mortgage geek, Chad Preby over at Bell Bank Mortgage. So where does all of this put our market meter? Well, no surprise, drops off a bit due to that uh, snowstorm. We were at a 6.76 down to 6.56, and that's that scale, 0 to 10, 0 being a complete buyer's market, 10 being a complete seller's market. So that drop off taking us kind of from that uh, – kind of medium-ish seller's market as we were approaching that back down more into the mild seller's market range. Now, those snowstorms, those can be an opportunity there. Not really safe to be going out and driving, looking at homes, let's say during the middle of the storm, but people tend to hunker down, whether that's uh, pre-storm, post-storm, so that can be a time to get out there and take advantage of that lower competition. Overall, we expect activity to stay pretty flat probably for about the next three and a half weeks before it really starts picking up heavily. And then we expect more inventory to be coming into the marketplace. That starts to pick up in, in that mid-January timeline, um, really starts accelerating after the Super Bowl. So, yeah, that really low inventory, especially dropping off at almost uh, 500 listings a week or there around, uh, is going to make it tougher and tougher for buyers out there um, as far as number of options. But with that slower activity that you may be able to, with the listings that are out there, not have nearly the competition. So if you do see something that you like, make sure that you reach out, get in right away. You know, you don't need to test drive every car on the lot to find that right car. So if you see a house that looks good, even though the total inventory is less, definitely can be that time of year to get a good buy out there for sellers. 
you know, if you have the opportunity to hold off, uh, you know, just a few more weeks, uh, let that inventory drop off. That's going to pick up competition and probably benefit you uh, financially. Hopefully you found this information valuable. As always, take care, be safe, have a great week. If you haven't had the chance, check out our Twin Cities Real Estate Show. Go to Facebook, type in Twin Cities Real Estate Show. Otherwise, you can catch us on the CW23 Saturday mornings at 6.30 or on KSTC Channel 45 at 6 o'clock. Hopefully, you check that out. Again, take care. Have a great week.